Hey, welcome back to the channel, man. Bugsy Malone, Fire in the Booth Part 2. We in it. Part 1 was alright. Part 1 was alright, you know. But like I said in Part 1, uh, he didn't really have any heavy bars. Any like, you know. Oh, what the fuck moments. He was pretty basic, but he was still nice. Let's see what he does in Part 2, man. Hopefully his pan game stepped up. If not, oh well, maybe his other stuff is going to be good, but anyways, he's still nice with it. I ain't hating. He's still nice with it, but let's get to it. I know you're going to dig this. Uh, yeah. yeah. Perfect. You want time is when you hear this, right? Hey, Charlie's rocking all black. All black like his gangland. Let's go. No, you gonna dig this. Ah, uh, yeah. Perfect. You want time is when you hear this, right? Uh, let's get ready to rumble! Hey, Blue, Blue, come on, man. Stop playing with us. Yo. Hey. Who's in the room? Let's go, let's go. Man, I've got one question, who's doing it better? Mm -hmm. I had to write to the judge for a letter cause the victim's holding a sick vendetta cause his lit need gets stitches. A priest sent in some report. And I'm famous now, there's no bend in the law. So I could get community service and worst case I could be going back behind the door. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And it's mad cause I can still remember the smell. The atmosphere and the light and the way that your mind would get carried away in the cell. The silence speaks louder than the bell that's been ringing for the past 15 minutes. And we don't know if the kid's hurting himself cause the officers don't care. They never asked how did he get here He never had a dad, mom tried her best But that didn't mark her, the rent was so dear She couldn't cope sober, so she drank spirits and not beer Talking mm. about legless strong Then his stepdad hit him with a reckless punch And his mom turned her back And that's when the care inside of the kid was done I'm talking about me, again Being a role model's taking his toll But I got this I was only 12 years old when I got hit Really, I hope my stepdad will watch this Because I was only a kid and I loved him more than anybody else But he fucked it How can you beat up somebody's mom? I just want him, I don't even want justice My little sister Yo, that's fucked up. That's fucked up, man. That's fucked up. And he's like, I'm talking about me. He just said, like, I'm talking about me, man. Like, this is what I went through as a little kid. It was traumatic as fuck. And, like, it took my innocence away, you know. I was just 12 years old. And I loved the nigga to death. And he went out here and he was putting his hands on my mom and shit. You know, that's fucked up. And he's like, yo, I don't even want justice at this point, man. I just hope he hears this and he knows that he fucked up, you know. It's crazy. Woo! I just want him, I don't even want justice. My little sister, yeah, that's his daughter. Between me and her, it's a little bit awkward. Cause I remember when she said she hit my mom that night just to cover her father. I could forgive, but I cannot forget. No hard feelings have been harbored as long as we do well. Nothing else matters. Considering where we started. Considering this time last year, I was stood here talking about every new road. I was starving. I had drug money, but I didn't know about getting money from touring. Uh -huh. And that's why I got a fan Charlie. Cause he showed me the ropes and then left me to stand on my own two feet like Christopher Reese before. His spinal stop working. Ah! I focused on evolution like that when the mini 2016 kicked in. I stopped drinking. I don't want to do parties. I hear my man saying it's curtains. So when I see him, I'm hurting. It's not fame when you're tossing and turning. And what's money when your money can cut? Stop your money from hurting. Uh -huh. And the world's not dead because the mini still burning. Oh, what's money when your money can't stop you from hurting, bro? Like, you need something to drown the pain, something to fix it. The ID means that they see him in person The body was working now, the witness is uncertain I believe in God, I don't trust the religion I don't get how Mary could be a virgin Still I've just got one question Somebody tell me, you're doing it better Who got these MCs dissing each other The brand new EPs are now And I took a mugshot and used it as the front cover Somebody twisted it up and created uh -huh. a story To make me look like a robber I thought I'd sit back and watch the commotion And that's why I didn't say nothing on Twitter I'm Okay, okay, he's come back and he's a little bit more refined, you know? I'm listening to him and he's a bit more refined. He's addressing some situations. He's so fucking calm, so fucking chill. I like that. The storytelling, he's really bringing us into his reality, into his, into this journey with him, you know? It's like when you listen to it, you, you become attached. You become a part of it. Like, you're right there with him, you know? I like that it's different. The ability to pull people in with your story. Not looking for sympathy. Not looking for handouts or pity. Nothing. It's just putting your shit out there and it's real. You know? When it's real, you can feel it. Like, energy doesn't lie, my nigga. It doesn't. Oh, what's it alone? BBC, what's wrong? Fire. 
Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Just gave him out in goosebumps, you know? Yeah. I am fine. You are, you are Thanos. I'm just saying it. I'm just saying it. Like, when, when it comes to eyes, bro, when it comes to keeping it 100, fam, I do that. And you're a different breed, Boxy Malone. A different Respect. breed. Respect. I say that from the bottom of my heart, fam. Yeah, like... Genuinely, you are a different breed. A monster. Like, you know, even when Charlie's giving him props, I think I noticed this a lot with Bugsy. When Charlie's giving him props, it's, uh, you can tell, like, people respect Charlie's opinion, you know? A lot of people be sleeping on Charlie, but y'all don't know the kind of pull, the kind of influence this nigga has. Y'all don't know, you know? I'm looking at Bugsy. Hold up, I'm going to show you something. I'm just fine. Watch. I'll do that. And you're a different breed, Bugsy Malone. You see that? Like, hearing that from somebody like Charlie, it means a lot. It's almost like acceptance. It's almost like the approval, you know? Not really in that sense, but it's like, okay, I did the right thing. I came over here, and I'm not fucking up, you know? A different breed. You know, it's respect. It's all love. It's support. Y'all niggas be sleeping on Charlie, but he be putting niggas on. Like, a lot of niggas done blew up because of Charlie or got him buzzed because of Charlie, man. Like, so big ups to you, Charlie. Shout outs. I say that from the bottom of my heart, fam. Genuinely, you are a different breed, a Let's monster. Go. You put a lot of these guys to shame, fam. Should we get them again? Yeah, let's do this. Let's go. Bugsy! Yeah. Hey. Hey. Boxing along. Let's go, let's go. Talk to these niggas, bro. Talk to them. Ah. Yeah, it's been a year now. I see things clear now. I've been training. I don't feel no fear now. They ask if I live in down here now. I tell them, no, I still get about money in my burgers. I told them to walk with me. The whole tour sold out. What I turn out. Still got to the girls' house. And I know man with ring is already to burn out. I hope I don't need them. This year, I don't want to risk my freedom. Because I know that I've got shows in Sweden. And I've been booked all over festival season. I've got part life. Then I've got wireless. Then I've got Glastonbury. Man, try it with me last you know, he's like, yo, this year, I don't want to risk it. This year, I'm playing it safe because I got so much lined up. Like, everything I dreamed as a little kid, everything I worked for, it's starting to happen, you know? It's coming, it's becoming a reality. So this year, I ain't trying to fuck it up. This year, I'm not doing no more parties. I'm not doing drugs. I'm fit. I'm in a good space. So it out shows all over the place. So let me do my thing, man. Miss me with that shit. There's a good and bad thing to that because when you, when you do that, it's not only your fans who watch your videos, your ops watch your videos too. Niggas who hate you, they're like, oh, he in a good space right now? I right, now's the time to go fuck with him. Now's the time to go start some shit. It goes both ways. So when you go on the mic and you talk about, oh, I'm in a good place right now, everything's going good, you just gotta know, your fans are happy for you, and your enemies are not happy for you. They're gonna try to stir some shit up and fuck all that up. You gotta stay woke, my nigga. That's who's gonna pay me this year. My label. I'm gonna pay myself, my nigga. I don't need y'all niggas. So I started my own label. They all got records. And that's gonna pay me this year. More time, man, I'm gonna hate me this year. But them same man, I'm gonna rate me next year. I'm gonna create a blueprint for our town. Like to show what it takes to get it. Yo, I don't do blades and I don't like drinking. I spent 24 hours in the day thinking. I've watched all the big guys shrinking. And the books in my own business line keeps ringing. It's like I've got a 30 beat them. Don't drink, don't smoke, like 24 hours just thinking this one. Y'all niggas, like, look at him, bro. Look at him, bro. He's in tip top shape, bro, nigga. He's got his little, uh, little hoodie on, bro, like fitted, haircut. Look at his face, look at the trim. You can tell, like, he's been working out. He's been putting that work in and it's showing discipline, mind over matter, my nigga, mind over body. Discipline. Now I'm watching all these big guys shrinking while the Bugsy Malone phone keeps ringing. It's different, man. If you're like, work ethic, 
work ethic every fucking day. Not some days. Not sometimes. Every fucking day. All the time, my nigga. Stay on the grind. I'm sat there bagging up holes in the hazy stink in the lines. Oh no, it is way. When I see set money, then I have to do a lot of explaining. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I got the game changing. I step money, made it start raining. Uh -huh. You made the crime scene entertaining. I don't know, I'm just saying. I disappeared for a week. My for it was peak and put out a tweet. When I call this to David Blaine. Ah. Why could the EP bang it and then my nose? He disappeared. I call this to David Blaine. My nigga, I was gone for a week. I come back. Niggas is hella tweeting and shit. Like, alright, my nigga, I got you. Oh, yeah. I put money on the map last year in the old one. The six one keeps growing. Them are the comedians are right now. Their true colors have started showing. They want me out of the game. I'm not going. Told them go right here with the poem. I'm putting along. Oh, I know set oh. up with a loud and white. Cause I got an email in my inbox asking me if I want to do a joint album. But I thought my mom said I was a dickhead. And I never would have been known without him. People. Bro, these, you can't trust these niggas, bro. One minute they're calling you a dickhead, one minute they hating. Next minute they want to do a joint album. My nigga, you can't trust these niggas, bro. They be switching sides way too fucking quickly, my nigga. Like, shh. Like, numbers don't. Right now, the numbers have got my car in. Well, that's me, not if you don't do well. You're not popping if you shit don't sell. You promoted my EP too. Congratulations, you played yourself. Congratulations, you played yourself. Like, he dead ass had to look at the camera. Like, I'm talking to you, nigga. You. You know who you are. I ain't gotta say your name. You know, and you gonna feel this. Congratulations, you played yourself. Go, baby. I'm like Batman to my hometown, it's mad. I bought a brand new RS3, it's small and fast. Took it to the body shop, told them I need it all in black. The first day I drove it, a van pulled out on me and we just crashed. I was sat there surrounded by smoke and airbags. I took the car and the van was flipped with his window smashed. The car was a right off, so I just kept it moving racks. Cause I had a photo shoot with supply and demand. Watch the collab, but watch this. Huh? Road is road and Liverpool beef is Liverpool beef. And they made an article to make me look like I'm a thief. And then got my songs taken off, I told see me, I won't sleep. Until I find out which MC has tried sabotaging me and I'm out. True. Yeah. The situations he just explained, like what happened on the road. It's like, it's more to this. Like, yo, rap beef is rap beef. But on the road, it's different, my nigga. Keep this shit on the net. Keep this shit on the beats. Like, don't bring this shit into real life because shit can get ugly. Like, now y'all niggas is taking my shit off iTunes, all doing all this fuck shit. Like, I bet. I'm not going to fucking sleep I'm up till I find out who the fuck is playing with my shit. Because I feed my family out this shit. I live off this shit. I work my ass, my ass off of this shit. Y'all motherfuckers going to sabotage it. Y'all going to catch hella hollows. Stop fucking playing with me. Let's go. That means Manchester's in the building, and we're here to stay. 2016, groggy season. No friendly right now. Charlie. Wow. Wow. They talk about finding the booths and they always ask him, is anyone ever going to overtake Wretch? Is anyone going to overtake Kano? <sighs> I think you just find your answer. Money on the Let's go. Let's go. I mean, I, I ain't got nothing else left to say. I mean, you pretty much said it all, fam. Nice. That was special. You respect, bro. Another moment, bro. He nice with it. He nice I with mean, it. I don't even know what I need to say. I mean, one take as well. <laughs> like, I even need to say that. Like, I would have been acting like I even were one take. <laughs> Yo, the EP is out now. Face in time. And talk to me about this EP, Bugs. You know what? You have to hear the EP to understand the whole concept. It's a concept EP. Obviously, somebody's got it twisted and, and created a story. And obviously, certain people have just jumped on it, tried to make it mad. But this EP is the, just the illest EP. It's the best thing I've ever done. Now, I remember, I remember you called me the day 
that article surfaced because obviously I was worried. I was seeing all these stories and he was like, what? what's he fun on here? Yeah, that's my name. No, I mean, that's a lot of people. No, it's happened. Yeah, so I mean, like, what's going on? I don't know why people try to do things like that. People don't like to see people do well, innit? Mm. It's what it is, innit? Damn. Yeah, nah, it's facts, bro. Like, hate is real. Jealousy is real. And it's a it's it's a problem. Like jealousy is is destructive, my nigga. Once somebody's jealous, envy, once they hate you, once they start hating on you, bro, yo. You have to deal with that shit. I don't give a fuck if it's family, if it's somebody far, somebody close, you have to deal with that shit. Cause it's going Bro, it's a shit storm. You don't want to go in that shit. Anyways, man, I love what he did. It's a dub for me, man. I like what he did. Really like it. He came in hard, man. Like, he didn't have any heavy bars, but he's still very fucking nice with it. I ain't even go, hey, so Bugs and Malone Part 2. That was fucking clean, man. Like, he put the 0161 on the map. Is it 01? 0106 or 0161, like one of those. But he put his city, his block on the map, so shout outs to you, man. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. All that good shit, and I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. You feel me? Let's get it.